All right, guys. Holy crap! Start recording. My hairline looks a little crazy. Flip that mug up. All right. Um. So, week two versus Arise. Um, Arise has a team of just chill. Be with me for a second. Um, Dondozo Tatsugiri, Houndstone Hippowdon, Hat Bronzong, Persian, the original version, Dash Bun. Jump Pluff, Dunsparce, Mudsdale. Um, Arise is good. Arise has a really solid team. He's a really good player. And this is the team that I decided to go with this week. Do I love it? No. Um, do I think it stands a chance? Yes. Um, I kind of got answers for his stuff, but we'll just see how it goes. So uh, I guess we'll start with Vaporeon. Vaporeon uh, with a Life Orb, so that's a little different. Actually, you know what? There's probably an easier way to do this. Go to boxes. Yeah, here we go. Um, so Vaporeon with a Life Orb is a little weird. He has Mudsdale, so I'm thinking, you know, a Muddy Water Ice Beam into that. It's probably not going to be, uh, you know, something that he wants to see. Um, I'm kind of bluffing the Quagsire. I did prepare it. Um, you kind of see the moves there. It had Haze for the Dondozo, potentially a defense boost on the Mudsdale. Toxic. Um and yawn they seem kind of counterproductive i'm just kind of bluffing the mudsdale i hope i don't see uh the don dozo because if i do that would suck um i have luxray for it with thunder fang and then i also have ditto potentially to uh to kind of you know transform into it and kind of go from there but hope i just don't see it but uh yeah <laughs> i've got like two answers for it so it could sweep <laughs> if i see it which would suck but vaporeon again the ice beam muddy waters really for the mudsdale um the luxray thunder fang um kind of cool uh this is an av mudsdale though um, with terra blast it's terra steel because if he decides to go hatterene um i can smack it pretty hard and i think he might and if he goes bronzo got fire fame so <laughs> and bite bites actually actually is bite better or is crunch better i think crunch is a better boot move isn't it bite is 60 i'll have to look at that because i think crunch is better but um but yeah that's that um, Orthworm, I want to bring Orthworm because if he does go Trick Room, Orthworm is mad slow. Um, it's got Iron Head for the Hatterene. It's got Earthquake because of... I mean, really, I don't know why. <laughs> but it's got Shed Tail, too. Set up a, set up a sub, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I really just needed the steel, you know, the steel, the physical steel. Uh, it's a kind of hit Hatterene, so that's kind of what that's for. Um... We'll see how it goes. Ditto, again, if he brings Dondozo, Ditto could be pretty cool. Uh, it's got a Choice Scarf. Not really super cool. You see it's minus speed nature with no speed investment. It's kind of a bulky Ditto. How bulky is this thing? I think it's very bulky, actually. Yeah, it's pretty much as bulky as you can get. Um, probably not the best Ditto that's been built, but it is what it is. Um, Armor Rouge. This is the same Armor Rouge that I brought last week um, with the same item. That's a charcoal on it. Um, cut me some slack. It is what it is. Um, with Terra Blast, uh, I think what I might do here is lead Orthworm next to Indeedy. And then thinking that he's going to go hat, switch the Orthworm out to get the Flash Fire boost onto the Armor Rouge. I don't know. I guess it could work. Um, I didn't want to bring this one. Actually, I might want to switch that Terra Blast for Shadow Ball. I think I'm going to do that. Can I do that from the... I'm going to have to try it from here because this is how I've been doing it. Change moves, use learn, TM, whatever. Do I have a Shadow Ball? No. That sucks. Um... Now what do I do? Maybe I can make one. Um, the Indeedy, oops, this way. The Indeedy has um, a Focus Sash, but it's also the Imprison set that I ran last week as well. Because I feel like he's gonna try to go, he's gonna try to go Trick Room, because he's a very Trick Room. He's got a very slow team. They're all craftable, Hex, Nightshade. Phantom Force, Shadow Ball, heck yeah, buddy. Um, we're gonna make one of them. 
And I think we're going to go ahead and teach it to Armor Rouge right now. Because that could be good against his Hat and Bronzong and Houndstone. And we're going to replace the Terror Blast because we don't need a fighting type move. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I kind of talked about the uh, Ndidi, but actually, boxes. Um, yeah, I kind of talked about the Ndidi. It is Focus Sash because it's max special attack, max speed, um, with Trick Room in Prison. It's got Dazzling Gleam, Psychic. Cool stuff. But yeah, I mean, do I like this team? I like this team a little bit less than I liked last week's team. And I didn't like last week's team. So, that kind of tells you all you need to know about this team right here. <laughs> but um, I think the Ditto could be a wild card, because he has, you know, the Mudsdale that could get set up. He also has the uh, Dondozo that could get set up. And then Ditto, I don't know what it's going to be this match. So it's just kind of like a little wild card that I have um, that you kind of got to respect. So... We'll see how it goes. I'll see everyone in the battle, and peace. All right, fam. You guys know the drill. Where's the camera? There it is. Um, it is what it is. I buttoned my little hat up. Oop, button came undone. I buttoned back up. Um, all right, so I'm pretty safe to shed tail, I think. I'm gonna do it. And I'm also going to trick a room. No, in prison, sorry. I'm gonna trick a room in prison. <clears throat> what if he tailwind jump off? What if that happens? <gasps> oh no! That's not fun. Hopefully he doesn't, he can't trick her though, so that's dope. Alright, now he can't put me to sleep either, so I guess I just, I guess I could Iron Head or whatever, I don't know. And I guess I could Psychic, Dazzling Gleam is, yeah, I'm just gonna Psychic and jump up. Maybe it's Focus Sash, we could break that. Ooh, big damage please. Um, I don't know, let's see. Give you light Dunsparce? Not good damage, but uh, I mean, that's not bad. That's 30%. There is much rain though. That sucks. I can't protect either. I'm still trying to shed tail, I suppose. Yeah, maybe not having protect on this was a bad idea. Um, I guess I just dazzled him here. Oh, he could just trick room. After he kills the Ndidi, though. That's not good. Hello? I'm freaking out of here, boy. Um, I don't know what this dunk force is going to do, but I'm going to go into Armor Rouge. Maybe I go Luxray. I don't know what dunk force is going to do. I'm just going to go Armor Rouge. Because Ndidi probably goes down here, but I need a little bit of a... If Ndidi goes down, I can just send in Luxray on that side and crunch. I didn't change the freaking move. So I think he still has Bite. Fun. That was cool. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's actually not a bad deal. Because now he can't glare. Actually, can he glare? He can't glare in the Luxray. I'm just going to bite and Shadow Ball into the Bronzong. Hopefully prevent Trick Room from going up. We're going to do both of those. I'm actually kind of upset that I didn't think to, uh, to change that to Crunch. Because I'm pretty sure Crunch is stronger. I missed the KO here because of a stupid punch. I might. Oh, I get it anyways. I don't care. Let's freaking go. 
My freaking head is itchy. Roost Dunsparce. I've got nothing to touch it. Alright, I can armor cannon. I don't want to do that though. Oh, Shadow Ball. I don't want to lose that defense. And there's Fire Tank. What if the Dunspar uh, starts setting up though? I don't know what it's in here for. I'm just going to double into Jump Up though, because it may set Tailwind. Or... It goes through. Sub? What? Sleep powder goes through sub? Why would you do that? Unless. Is that. Is that jump up's ability? It might be its ability. Because that's wild stuff, man. Infiltrator, you freaking stupid bug. Oh, trick room goes up. Um, do I actually tear a fighting here so I can resist the... I got an idea. Watch this. That's a scarf, though. Um, I guess I just protect. I'm gonna. Mm, well, do I stay asleep here? I can't remember. And then do I go into Vaporeon maybe? I'm just gonna bite. Maybe it flinches. Because he's probably going for Trick Room, right? And I protected. Did I not play my turns correctly? Hopefully we get a flinch, that'd be sick. Okay. That's just crazy, so now I can Shadow Ball pretty much for free. Could Terra to avoid it. What's his Terra type? Steel? I mean, like, oh, I could have been Terra Blast. I freaking brought Terra Steel for that purpose, too. So dumb, dude. Well, I don't think he's gonna. Watch. If I Terra here and flinch, though, I could be looking pretty stupid. I'm gonna do it, though, because he might. Go for a Dazzling Gleam? I actually feel kind of bad. Why? The Terra Steel play was the freaking move last turn and I missed my opportunity. I actually like my matchup in this uh, Hattery now, honestly. Because I can Thunder Fang it. Or I can. Oh, that's bad! That's the worst thing that could have happened just there. Stupid rock slide. Just, just enough. Mm, let's protect and get some leftovers. Let's Thunderfang. The good thing is I don't think... Well, I guess it probably has Mystical Fire too, actually. I was gonna say, I don't think it can touch Lux right now, but I think it probably has Mystical Fire. That's usually what you bring on Hattery. 
so I probably am in a bad spot still. That's really nice. Hank and these hits though. Okay. There's a chance back. Okay. This is going to do big damage. Interesting move. Interesting move, cuz. Alright, now. How do I use team? Where's the bronze almost gone? How much turns a trick room? One turn. Watch this. He's probably gonna EQ though. Actually, I'm probably faster now with Lux Ray. Watch this. I'm gonna call Big Brain Play. Watch this. I'm gonna Thunder Fang into the Mudsdale because he's gonna switch that back into half. Or he's just gonna body press. Please switch back in, Hatterene. Nope. <laughs> Please just let me get paralyzed so no one has to see this stupid play. Oh yeah, see, there's the high horse. Oh, that makes sense. That's smart. At least he doesn't know how stupid that play was on my part. The not going to move, so that's good. But now I can... go into Orthworm. All my damage dealers are gone. They pour down the button, so. This is muddy water. Hopefully we get a few drops in. Drops in accuracy, maybe? That could be our out. And I just want to switch Ditto in at the right time. You know what I mean? Let's get like we might have one more damage dealer if we can switch Ditto in at the right time. It is Choice Scout though, so we gotta make a, make a smart right there. This is probably AV Mudsdale though, so not oh, my first not. But I was gonna say, even if it, you know, even if I connect, it's probably not gonna kill. So. Hopefully this gets an accuracy drop though, and then you don't have to worry so much about the Dunsparce paralyzing everything. That's cool, that's fine. Alright. I can't believe I didn't tear a steel into a freaking Hatterene, even though that's exactly what I brought it for. How dumb. How dumb. We were still faster with Vaporeon. Hopefully we can crit the Mudsdale. Even if we get through the Mudsdale, I think we can crit the He has like five more left. This team, I want to say it sucks, but it's not my best work, that's for sure. Accuracy drop. That comes out of 
Alright, now, which one is probably going to sleep? Hopefully he just tries to, uh, hopefully he tries to put both my Pokemon to sleep and then loses my game. <laughs> hopefully that happens. <laughs> That's my point. What? Let's see what those little arms come out. He's got a flinch and a paralysis chance here, and he gets the paralysis. He had two opportunities to make me not move, and he got the second one. I'm gonna protect, I don't wanna go to sleep. I don't wanna go to sleep, man. Yo, we could still win this thing. You gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Alright, what else can I do? Oh, I lose this game. What else can I do to occupy my time? You thought, bruh. You thought. You know, I'm gonna destroy the gun squad for the money one when I get a chance. Hey, get another tail. Not a 5 0. -oh. Not a 5 0, -oh, people. Not a 5 0. -oh. <sighs> yeah, Muddy water. Let's do it. Um, I guess an iron head. Hey, we're actually faster. That could flinch. Oh! What does that even do? I don't even know what that does. Last respects. Yo, we could low key like make this close. I don't think we can get through the Dunsparce. Actually. Nah, he has Roost, so we can't, but whatever. Play it out. We gotta play for some flinches. So I try to figure out what Last Respects does. Hey! Hey! Come on, man! What does Last Respects do? What does it do? What does Last Respects do? What does it do? What does Last Respects do? What does it do? Hey! Hey! Are we connected? That's fine. Hey, man. This freaking thing won't. Freaking go! No point, huh? Oh, you know what we could do? Hold the phone. We were waiting for some damage to come out. Now that we got it, let's freaking use it. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, we could use that though, so that's not overly concerning. Could have definitely used the Houndstone, but uh, this freaking thing will not work. I'm clicking it. It's not working. Tell me what the move does. Last respects. Each time a Pokemon on the user side side faints. That's interesting. Um, I guess we could Giga Drain you. Why not? We could also Iron Head you. 
All right. We're locked into Giga Drain, which is not a bad move to be locked into, to be honest. Oh, he's actually probably going to switch it out because he knows. But he has Houndstone in the back. Probably doesn't want to take that. Okay. Look at that. Huh? What? What the heck? Please kill Orphan. Thank you. Please rock slide and miss. Speaking of please. Alright, man. We're in freaking business. We're in freaking business, man. Alright. Now, we Muddy H2O, not a 4-0, we're making progress, we're making freaking progress, we're making freaking progress, and you can't, what's it called me, you can't put me to sleep or glare me that magic box. So we're actually not in bad shape. That sucks. Because we need all the damage we can get at this point. This is actually not a bad spot to be in. Not a bad spot. If we can get the freeze on the Duns for us. What? Was it telling us that the I lost. I was bringing that back. Well, I guess I lost. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. That was weird. I was actually not in a bad spot. But, um, it is what it is. So, I'll see you guys next week. Peace!